Hello students, I am Mrs. Mina Shikalgar. Welcome you to the course Electromagnetic Engineering. Before we have discussed about the coordinate uh, vectors and the coordinate systems, we have started our discussion about the vectors okay, in detail analysis of the vectors. Okay. Today we will discuss about the coordinate systems. So, the coordinate systems are often used to specify the position of a point, but they may also be used to specify the position of more complex figures such as lines, planes, circles or spheres. The choice of the coordinate system is based on the problem. If one is studying certain problems are solved easily by using rectangular coordinate system, whereas certain cannot be. Some coordinate systems make more sense, make it easier to describe a system. Coordinate system give us a systematic way of naming the points in a space. So, here we have a reflection for spot. Just pause the video and try to answer this question. Consider the set of locations in your room. Each point has a unique identity in the room, but they do not come with the names. So, how can we describe the location of that point in our room? Pause the video and try to answer. Okay. So, let us go through the answer. We can use descriptions like the point at the corner of the desk or the set of points exactly here I have taken the example that 3 inches from the top of the lamp. So, this is how we can locate the point. Okay. If here we have assumed that the room is a rectangular room, okay. but that sort of thing it is definitely it is ad hoc thing. If we can name them systematically, we can start reasoning about the whole space. So, a simple way to systematically name every point is called a coordinate system. That is why I have taken the example about how we can locate the point in, uh, in a room okay? and for that we have some answers that the point is at the corner of the desk or it is at this much distance from the top of the lamp or from the side of the uh, side wall of the room. Okay. <coughs> but these are the general ways to describe that point. If we want to specifically describe or locate that point, we need to take the help of coordinate system. So, here we are going to discuss three types of coordinate systems, Cartesian coordinate system which is also called as rectangular coordinate system, cylindrical coordinate system and spherical coordinate system. We will start our discussion with the Cartesian coordinate system. So, in Cartesian coordinate system, we are taking or considering three axes, x, y, z axes. Okay. We can draw these three axes like this. These are this is the right handed screw method to describe or to locate x, y, z axes. These three axes are perpendicular to each other and the common point where all these three axes meets together is called as the origin. Okay. So, in this coordinate system, first of all we will assume a plane which is perpendicular to the z axis. Okay. So, if we observe our z axis is a vertical axis, is it right? So, the plane which will be perpendicular to the z axis, it will be definitely a horizontal plane. It may look like this. So, this is our plane which is perpendicular to z axis. This is also called as x y plane, is it right? Or if we take a distance on this plane anywhere on this plane, 
it will be same and here in general we can say this distance is the z distance this distance is the z distance and therefore this plane is called as z constant surface z constant surface okay now we will take one more surface which will be perpendicular to x axis now here x axis is the horizontal axis so the plane which will be perpendicular to this horizontal axis horizontal x axis it will be a vertical plane and this plane it might look like this so this is my plane which is perpendicular to x axis okay and any point on this plane it is at constant x distance and therefore this plane is also called as x constant surface or x constant plane okay the plane which will be perpendicular to y axis it is y constant surface so here in this three diagrams we can observe x constant surface y constant surface and z, z constant surface so z constant surface it is perpendicular to the z axis and parallel to x y plane y constant surface is perpendicular to y axis and parallel to x z plane and x constant surface is perpendicular to x axis and parallel to y z plane the x y z axis this ranges from minus infinity to plus infinity we can see this all together these three planes x constant plane y constant plane and z constant plane so the point in the coordinate system the intersection actually intersection of if you observe this this is my z constant surface and suppose this is my y constant so intersection of uh, any two surfaces it will give us a vertical line but as we have started our discussion that we want to locate the point we need third one more surface and therefore we have considered this surfaces and intersection of these three surfaces will give us a point in the coordinate system this is my z constant surface this is my x constant surface and we have one more surface which is the y constant surface okay so intersection of all these surfaces suppose it is somewhere here and which is a point p okay and the coordinates of this point p will be x y z as this as this point we have obtained by the intersection of three uh, constant surfaces okay so the point in the cartesian coordinate system it is defined by the coordinates x y z okay then we'll move to the next point which is about the unit vectors in cartesian coordinate system unit vectors in cartesian coordinate systems are along their respective axes so these are the directions of unit vectors x ay and az so unit vector which are present in cartesian coordinate system are x bar ay bar and az bar and these are along their respective axes 
as this is the case with the cartesian coordinate system it is okay that we are uh, we know that these coordinates uh, these unit vectors are along the respective axis but we should know the standard rule how to identify uh, the direction of unit vector and for that we will assume or we have we'll take one example okay suppose this is the plane or this is the surface we can observe this surface is perpendicular to the y axis so this surface it should have two directions is it right okay or two normal we can consider so this is normal 1 and this one is normal as this normal 1 and normal 2 these are perpendicular to this surface we have uh, two rules first rule is our uh, unit vector should be perpendicular to that respective surface okay so now if you observe in this case we have two perpendiculars or two normals to this surface so out of these two surfaces which direction we can consider so here one more rule is there that our unit vector or the unit vector the first condition is it should be perpendicular to the respective surface as well as it should be in increasing positive direction it should be in the positive direction so out of this normal 1 and normal 2 which unit vector we can consider or which direction we can consider we can consider this normal 1 as the direction of unit vector now the differential lengths involved in cartesian coordinate system this is the point which we have located in cartesian coordinate system with coordinates x y z is it right if we differentially increase x coordinate by some differential amount dx will differentiate differentially increase y coordinate by some differential length dy and z with the differential length dz so differential lengths involved in cartesian coordinate system are dx dy and dz we can more elaborate this in this diagram so here we can see initially our point was here initially our point was here with coordinates x y z we have differentially increased the lengths and the differential lengths are dx dy and dz and now we have obtained another point p dash with coordinates dx dy and dz so the vector differential length in this can be obtained by end point minus start points that is p dash minus p so we have to subtract coordinates of p dash with coordinates of p okay and we will get the vector differential length as dl bar as dx ax bar plus dy ay bar plus dz az bar and the magnitude of differential length it will be equal to as we have discussed in the previous uh, uh, video it it is equal to under root of dx square plus dy square plus dz square then differential surface area okay. here after increasing that point p from x y z to d x d y d z we have and by uh, connecting p and p dash we have obtained this kind of surface okay we will consider this is our surface 1 this is surface 2 and this is surface 3 and we'll try to find out surface area of surface 1 surface 2 and surface 3 surface 1 first of all we need to identify which constant surface is this okay so this surface 1 is 
x constant surface ok. So, the differential surface area of for x constant surface. So, we need to identify which lengths are involved in this. So, we know in x direction the lengths in length involved is dx, in y direction it was dy and in z direction it is dz ok. So, the surface area of x constant surface it is equal to yes it is equal to dy into dz and vector surface area we need to identify which unit vector will be involved as this is the x constant surface we have a x bar as the unit vector. So, d s 1 or vector differential surface area is d y into d z into a x bar ok. Similarly, for surface 2 first of all we will identify which constant surface is this. So, this is a y constant surface the differential surface area of this y constant surface it is equal to yes dx into dz into And the vector differential surface area is ds into dx dx into dz into unit vector perpendicular to that surface. Okay. Now, surface three. So, which constant surface is this surface three? It is the z constant surface. It is z constant surface. Okay. So, the differential surface area of z constant surface it is equal to dx into dy and vector surface vector differential surface area it is equal to dx into dy into unit vector perpendicular to that surface it is a z bar ok. So, this is all about differential surface area. Next point is about the differential volume. So, differential volume of Cartesian coordinate system it is equal to dx into dy into dz product of all the lengths. So, here we have completed the point uh, Cartesian coordinate system. We will once again recall this point or revise this point ok. So, in Cartesian coordinate system the point is obtained by intersection of three surfaces or three constant plane surfaces x constant surface y constant surface and z constant surface and therefore, the point p can be located with the help of coordinates as x y z or point p can be defined with the help of coordinates as x y z. The diff, uh, vector uh, unit vectors involved in different uh, Cartesian coordinate system are a x bar, a y bar and a z bar these are along x y z axis. The differential lengths involved in Cartesian coordinate system are d x, d y and d z. Vector differential length d l bar it can be given as d x a x bar plus d y a y bar plus d z a z bar. Differential surface area for x constant surface it is d y d z a x bar. Differential surface area for y constant surface it is d x d z a y bar and differential surface area for z constant surface it is d x d y a z bar. Differential volume dv is equal to dx dy into dz. So, this is all about Cartesian coordinate system.
Thank you.